Hello. 2023, we made it. Don't look up my dress, okay? Just saying. I'm going to stand back here to watch out for this guy right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, I know, you're all probably wondering, like, why she got a backpack. Uh, weed, I don't trust anybody. Okay. No, no, actually, if you apply for a job at Hop Topic, like, three times, they just give you one. Okay. Um, <laughs> So that song, let's see. That's my 2023 goal this year is just to learn the lyrics to that song. Um, I'm trying to keep my goals like real low. Uh, I had some trouble in 2022 with my goals. Uh, does anybody in here have a five-year plan? Oh, a couple of you. Not smart. Get rid of it. Okay. Yeah, no, I had one. I was working on it. I wanted to move out of state. I thought I was, like, super smart. I've been, like, saving money and, like, doing all the shit, you know, being a grown-up. Um, I forgot to do some research. I didn't learn the difference between legalized and decriminalized. I went on vacation to New Orleans. It's, like, my favorite place. They have the best food. If you haven't been, book your tickets, okay? But don't try to move there. Um... I got there, I went to a dispensary because I didn't want to get Brittany Garnered. Um, look, I learned my lesson. Look, it's smart, you know. Um, leave your weed at home, okay? They, they have, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I rolled up to this dispensary and was like, I went in, it's a little sketchy. They have like glass cases. You know, here we have like weed menus, right? Like, see, I know you guys know. Okay, we have like whole menus. It's like going to like a five-star restaurant. You could get like top of the line. You could get a sirloin, you know. Um, there, two. Everywhere you go, two is not options, guys. Two is like the girl in high school who like only fucked two dudes, and like she doesn't have anything to compare it to because they both sucked. Okay. So. I asked, I'm like, okay, she said, we have Delta 8 and Delta 9. I'm like, thank you, thank you, yes. Uh, you got some OG Kush, like you got anything. Um, so I'm like, okay, I don't know what these are. I've never felt like such a weed noob in my life. Like I've been smoking since I was like 14. I've never felt so stupid. And she pulls out this paper and she's like, well, here's a breakdown of the molecular structure. <laughs> Bitch, on my best day, I'm not a chemist. <laughs> I just came from a state that's 48th in education. I'm not even qualified to look at this shit. <sighs> yeah. So, no five-year plans, okay? I feel like that is a very good goal for the year. Don't set any unreasonable goals. We can do this, guys. We can get through it. We can make it to 2024. Um, I did recently lose 120 pounds. Yes. I know all you dudes are in here like, what the fuck did she look like before? Not like this. Okay? Yeah. Anyways. Um... With that comes some very unfortunate side effects. I don't recommend weight loss. Mm -mm. It was a trap. They were like, you're gonna get all skinny. You're gonna look great. Neck vagina. Okay? Yeah, uh, you can't tell right now because this bra is really great, but these titties, they point down. Okay? They do. And and they look like tennis balls in old gym socks right now. <laughs> so if there's a plastic surgeon in here that I could fuck. <laughs> come see me after the show. I'd like a dentist too, I need a root canal. <laughs> no, actually, um, I, I got married. I know, you can boo now. 
Um, now, I just decided I'm not going to do this sex shit for free anymore. Okay? It's totally reasonable. I just got myself a McMansion. Okay? It's in Buckeye, but, you know, a new car, a stove. <sighs> Getting all the perks. You know? It's good stuff. It's good stuff. But marriage is fucking gross. It is. This is my third one. I think that says something about me. I don't give up. <laughs> or I haven't learned my lesson. No, it's gross. I was like getting ready. Like nobody prepares you for this shit. Like he was an over the road truck driver, right? And then the pandemic happened and he came home and this shit sucks. Cause like, I didn't even know if we liked each other that much. Like. <laughs> I got to see him like every three weeks and that shit was cool as fuck. Like you get to have sex and then like he's gone again and you get to live your life and you do whatever you want to do. And then COVID and you're like, do we even like each other? We like each other enough. We're still married. But what I was unprepared for was that when we got married, I thought he was bald. He's just shaving that shit. <laughs> Do you know how I know? Because I got out of the shower today and I went to go dry off with my towel, my towel, and all of a sudden, I was covered in ball hair. <laughs> you know how gross it is to get out of the shower and have to re-shower because you're covered in somebody else's? Not prepared, not prepared, yeah. So I went to Burger King for lunch today. Yeah, I know, we're just totally gonna go in a different direction now. <laughs> Let me tell you about this, they have some delicious little snacks and stuff, you know, like the onion rings, it's weird, it's like all choppy and stuff, you know, and like you can bite the whole thing and like the whole onion ring doesn't come out in your mouth, I don't know, give it a shot. Love that. Right, but I, see, you know. But I pulled up to the drive-thru and the chick at the drive-thru was like, would you like some ring sauce? And I was like, ring sauce? I've never heard of that. What's in it? And she was like, ring sauce? <laughs> okay, what's in it? It's zesty. Okay, what's in it? Zesty. Okay, I'll try the ring sauce. So like I pull up to the window and I'm like all excited because now, you know, this ring sauce has been talked up to me. <laughs> and, and like, I get my bag and I look in it because I don't trust any motherfuckers that work at a Burger King. And there's no ring sauce. And I was like, hey, where's the ring sauce? And she's like, the what? <laughs> I'm like, the ring sauce. You know, the ring sauce, like, it's, it's zesty. The zesty sauce. Where's the fucking ring sauce, bitch? And she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And this guy walks up and he's like, oh, I know what you're talking about. I'm like, I just talked to the bitch about the ring sauce. So he gets me the ring sauce, right? All I'm saying is, I'm not on board with $15 an hour. Okay? All right, so Christmas just passed. Do you have to take a shot for that one? Was that part of the game? No. All right, all right. Christmas just passed. Uh, what? Am I buying? No, fuck. I'm a comic. I'm asking to fuck a doctor, okay? Um, anyways, Christmas just passed. I asked my husband for an espresso machine. He bought me a gun. I don't hate it, but my daughter got me pepper spray. I feel like there's a theme here. But she said, Mom, you don't use the gifts we give you. So I shot him and I pepper sprayed her. And the place I'm checking into next month has an espresso machine. I'm Jenny Burnett. You can follow me on Instagram at one mean Jenny. Thank you.